there's an inbuilt uh, the, the inbuilt traction system is really awesome about the ultraviolet it, it gives you the maneuvering uh, confidence you know i have never had this kind of confidence in terms of maneuvering and braking uh, you know if, if i do like a sudden break or something i know i will be able to go up to a certain uh, limit type kind of thing if you know what i mean like uh, it, it don't swerve out uh, generally what happens with other bikes if you press the front brake the back the, the rear brake uh, the rear tire swerves out or if you uh, press the this thing and then if your front tire swerves out a little bit this traction control system doesn't let you swerve it keeps you in check and uh, it does a really really good job i mean i could feel it you know like when i was uh, getting through that water you really need that kind of a system to keep you uh, balanced you know like you could easily like swerve and slip off on a on a slippery road like that on a this thing but i had the the tier 3 mode on the traction mode on the tier 3 mode which means i could i would doing wet tires and stuff wet wet locations so it was good stuff like it was good yeah i'm going to be indian now and i'm going to break no let's not do that Okay, and we did it. I just need to take this lane. Yes. All right, cowboy ship. Welcome to the lane of the highly gifted and the rich. It's called Jubilee Hills, my friend. You know the roads in Jubilee Hills are a mess. Look at that. Nothing smooth. All randomized speed bumps. nothing rich about it all right let's go if you were a biker in the in the 90s uh, or the 1900s or the 2000s look at the look at the eyeballs on the bike ladies and gentlemen Woo and she goes conscious and <laughs> turned away anyway so um if the um, if you were riding in the 1990s or the 2000s this road or this stretch now now it is a little big but earlier it was half of what it is right now if you see this the size this was such a beautiful place to be like you know you would not even know that there is a road like this in hyderabad but yeah this is called the whisper valley road this is one of the earlier gated communities and it's 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 catered to a lot a lot of movies if i'm not wrong uh, the uh, kabir singh version of the telugu version of the kabir singh was uh, a, a shot at this thing is uh, whisper valley also uh, what is it called i don't remember i've seen it though was a good movie this stretch man this stretch people used to stunt ride on these stretches long long time ago long 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 time ago and they made it really pretty with the landscape all around here
All right, home stretch, and we're going to go to get to the washing part of it. Here we go. What? There's nobody here? Yeah, there is somebody. Cool. Let's get to the favorite part of the journey, I guess. These guys actually clean the chain and everything and the tires. So that's one of the reasons why I come here and get my stuff done or my work done. So we're going to witness a beautiful cleanup for the machine. Ha 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 ha. All right, uh, should I twist you guys? Yeah, let, let me... No, I'll just take the mound out. Might as well, yeah, perfect. So I can keep recording and talking to you guys as well. All right. Yes, guys. Look at that baby. So dirty. So full of dirt and it's going to be clean as a whistle. And he's going to do the chain and everything. I got these put recently. Very cheap. And, and also these gloves. This is another thing that you really need, bro. Welcome to the ultraviolet. The Mark II Raycon Airstrike Edition. Alright. He's going to take over now and give it a nice deep clean. I hope it's satisfying for you guys to watch something like this also because it's satisfying, it's a hell satisfying for me to see something like this happen. Especially when they put the they plow on the the soap. Yeah, this is one of the reason why I like him. Uh, I come to this guy because. He checks the crevices and sees that you know everything and they they, uh, they brush the tires, they put diesel so that the the, the uh, metal parts are not still dirty. So yeah, they do a holistic job. And you know, it's not expensive. It's just 180 rupees. I get the chain looped as well uh, today evening when I go to... Uh, my guy basically i'll get a chain lubed a lubrication on the chain because now that i've washed it i can uh, lube the chain you're supposed to lube the chain now uh, like um, once in 300 kilometers or so it's the time for the waters it's gonna snow tonight oh my god i love this part i love it when the white meets the black and the black meets the white Now it's going to hang the 
wash it and then they are going to also uh, lift the bike up and uh, do the cleaning of the tires so in the latest development in the industry the thing is that they do not have any uh, main stands all they do is uh, you don't need to have main stand you just need the side stand and stuff so the side stand regulates whether some b-roll footage b-roll shots i hope they do good justice to the editing on this it's my first video guys my first video the tone and the way the video has gone i hope you guys enjoy it
You guys want to like pressure air the bike so that the water can be removed. Not like a hot air pressure or anything, it's just pressure air the bike. That reminds me I have to put I have to put the tire pressure and get it checked and I will get it done now. There's a there's a petrol pump next door. Let me pay the man. Give me a minute guys. I'll cut this part. Yeah, I'm back.
All right, check this out. My fresh new baby. There we go. Gonna go risk something and do something new here. Let's try this. It's a recording, GG. Back is low. Right up. This will be good. Get some footage at least. <laughs> Before the battery dies out. Ah. Feel like a new ride. No, there is no fire. Okay, I gotta put in the evening. Let's go put the push.